Yes, I'm open to watching whatever you want, darling. <laughs> yes, even another one of those bad horror movies that you seem to love oh so much. I don't hate them that much, you know. It's just amusing to poke fun at them, is all. Really, put on whatever you wish. I'm sure we'll have a good time. It's been several weeks now. Several weeks since I've had their blood and... I just can't get it out of my head. The taste. The consistency. Pure ambrosia. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a bit lost in thought. Yes, as I said, whatever you want, dearest. Since our last incident, I've stocked up quite a bit on blood bags. However, when I look at them, they just don't appeal to me. Oh, I don't think this feeling is going to pass. I have to talk to them. I'm going to go mad at this rate. Damn it all. I hope they can understand what I've done. Darling, listen. Before we start, I think we... Um... We need to talk. No, no. Trust me, I am quite loaded on the blood bags now. It isn't that. You know how I stocked up heavily the last time I went to the clinic? Though it is related to our previous, ah, uh, incident, I suppose. Remember how pleased I was with your blood that night? Well, honestly, you don't know the half of it. I can't even be begin to describe how it made me feel. I don't exaggerate when I say it's all that's been on my mind since that night. It feels as though I've been going on living my life in ignorance, and suddenly I have been enlightened. But, dearest, it's worse than you think. Much worse. I, um, how do I put this? I've kind of, well, and please don't freak out. I've resorted to hunting. Look, I know, I know that there are laws against it, and it is so morally fucked up. But you have to understand, I'm turning mad as a hatter over here. I've become an addict overnight, and I needed that fix. I thought, well, it must be because I was no longer used to fresh blood. For decades now, I've survived on nothing but those damned blood bags. And don't get me wrong, they're great for keeping me alive, and no humans are harmed. But darling, I forgot just how different it is when it's fresh. It simply cannot compare. So, while you slept, I went out and decided I'd go hunt for some easy prey. I haven't hunted in what felt like forever, but I swear it was just like riding a bike. And honestly, the difference in power between a vampire and the average human is so astronomical that there's really nothing any mortal can do. You know I'm not violent, but this is what it's done to me. No, of course I didn't kill any of them. I may be desperate, but I'm no murderer. I felt terrible after every single one. As they were in their drained, lethargic state, I carried them to their home to make sure I could at least be certain that they wouldn't be in any further danger. 
how did I know where they lived? Well, I just checked their driver's license, dear. <sighs> three. I tried the blood of three people. Not one of them came even close to quenching my thirst. So I, I came to realise that it isn't just the fact that it's fresh blood that I desire. It's you. Something about you. Your blood is just perfect. There's simply no better way to put it. I somehow get the feeling that you aren't quite as mad that I attacked innocent people, but rather you seem upset that I didn't talk to you about this. Yeah, well, you know me. Ever the overprotective partner. I've told you. I can't stand the thought of hurting you. And I didn't want to pressure you into giving more of your blood. I know you said that you didn't mind last time, but I suppose I had wondered if you truly meant that. If you were only saying that to protect my feelings. Wait. What? You liked it. Oh. Oh my. Darling, you wouldn't mind if I went in for a drink then? Good. Because I don't think I can wait any longer. just as pristine as the last time. <laughs> no, perhaps even better. Are you feeling all right? Here, lay down. Want me to hold you? All right, come here. I love you more than all the stars, my darling. Now then, what did you want to watch? 